What's going on YouTube? This is Mason AJ with the official now is here with Tr the legend, the spectacular, the amazing Tracy Yardy himself, the writer and creator, no, I'm about to say writer and creator, but artist of the shot, Sonic the Hedgehog Cowboy, and also Galaxy Man. We're here at Free Comic Book Day at Galactic Quest Comic here in Lawrence, but you know that that's my favorite comic book shop. I come here all the time. Now, how are you doing today, Mrs? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. You sure? Busy, yep. I'm you sure? No, you, you, you are more than busy. Like, I'm seeing, like, lines and lines and lines of people, or at least, at least they were here, and, now, and people are still coming to get a piece of this awesome artwork by Mr. Tracy himself. Now, I have to ask you a question. Sata Hedgehog is one of my favorite characters. I've been playing playing those games since I was a child. I've read the comic books. I've seen the TV show. You know, I had, I, I'm, I used to, I got, I started eating chili dogs because of Sonic. <laughs> like, that's, that's how much I love, love the character. And I actually especially love the comic book, Mecha Madness is actually still in my personal collection. Um, how long have you been working on the book itself? Uh, I started in 2005 on issue 160 of Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh, a very, 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 a very good year for that book, especially. Now, what are some of the trials and tribulations that came with starting with a already established series as opposed to starting with something new? Well, um, not a whole lot. There was, um, back when I started doing the book, there was a lot more... Um, visual freedom you know Sega didn't uh, they weren't as picky about the visual styles of the books but I, I generally tended to draw close to their style anyway so it worked out pretty well and um, you know yeah I, I, don't, I don't think there was it was a pretty easy transition for me yeah what in particular has been your favorite moment working on the Sonic book my favorite moment yes. hmm that's a hard one uh, there's a lot of a lot of different uh, Good moments. One of my favorites was early on. I did the uh, issues 168 and 69, which was the first time um, uh, on when I was doing that. I worked on uh, an issue that had Supersonic, mm -hmm. and uh, Ian had a lot of really cool, cool, fun stuff in that issue. That was that was a lot of fun. And then I would say, you know, um, some of my other favorite things was the first time I got to write an issue. I, d I wrote three issues of the Sonic X series whenever they Well, I did, actually did not even know that. Yeah, so that was that was pretty cool to get to do that, and I've written eight issues of Sonic Universe also. So those, getting to do the different, the different side of it has been pretty, pretty fun to do that occasionally. Now do you, I mean, obviously you are artist by trade, but would you like to take on a more, um, more, more writing role when it comes, when it comes to Sonic Hedgehog or even other books? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely enjoy writing. It's different. It's a different, much different mindset. You know, you get to think about all the stuff and not have to take the hours to draw it. So, um, I do, I, I've written the uh, script for issue number one of Galaxy Man and Cosmic Girl, as well as I did the pencils for that issue, so uh, you know, I'm definitely going to continue to write scripts for that book, and hopefully it'll be coming out uh, at some point, through either through Action Lab, just like the Hero Cats book, or maybe we'll, we'll do something else, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'll definitely be continuing with that. If I could do more stories with Sonic, that'd be great, but... Uh, I think there's a lot of people that want to do it, and Ian Flynn, that's his, that's his bread and butter, so I don't want to take too much work away from him. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and let, let, let you get the poster. So, um, the, you know, you are you are cl clearly a master at your craft. You are established, established artist. You've been working on a very successful book for such a long time. For people who want to get into the comic book game, who, who want to be artists and writers, what advice could you offer people trying to break into the world of comics? Well general advice for getting into comics is, um, well, draw your own comics. That's the main thing you need to do first, is don't wait for somebody to pay you to do it. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's, it's quite all right. Um, one of the things you also need to do, you know, go to comic book conventions, take your work there. Wait, wait before you, would you, mind, would you mind showing the people out there in the world this awesome, do, do you see this? Okay, this is happening right now. All right, I'm just telling you, this is happening right now. This is why you need to come to Free Comic Book Day, and, you know, especially at Galactic Quest, because you can miss out on all that awesomeness right here. So, so you were saying that you know to go to, to go to comic book conventions. Uh, go to comic book conventions. You know, make make uh, connections with editors and other talented artists, and if you can make friends with the, you know other artists, whenever they have opportunities, if they can, you know, talk to the people they work with and recommend you for a job you know and that's the way it works with a lot of things in this world but uh, you know editors get lots of different uh, submissions from 
people all throughout the year and they can't look at them all so if they have someone they trust and that says i know a person who would be good for this job you know, they'll, they'll take their word for it and use that person so uh yeah networking and you know networking and doing the, the work ahead of time so you have something ready to show when an opportunity arises those are two of the main main things you need to do to get into comic books now you, you are working you know one second <laughs> um, yes, I, I, I would like to see that as well. <laughs> um, well, is there, um... well no, I, I have a question. Um, where, well, first, where can people find your work? Where can, if people wanted to, like, you know, find, you know, what, 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 you've been, what you have been working on, what you currently, um, what you can, what you be doing in the future, where can people find the website, Facebook, Tumblr, or anything of the sort? Well, of course, yeah, I'm, I'm on Facebook. Um, you just look up Tracy Yardley on there, and uh, you know, send me a friend request. Um, you know, I have a, a page on Deviant Art, which I don't really uh, update very often. <laughs> um, you know, I don't have a really good official website right now. So, I mean, you can you can Google me at any time and find you know the more current Sonic stuff that I'm working on. Okay. So, you know, I'm I'm working on building a new website that will feature all the Galaxy Man work and have a you know uh, a page where you can buy original art and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, okay. You know, maybe I'll send you a link and you can put it out there. For All me. right, no problem, no problem. <laughs> okay. Now, unfortunately, we, we have people people waiting here. We, we are out of time. I have to. We have to go once again. This is the legendary Tracy Yarley himself. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. My pleasure. You know, you once again don't don't, don't let my calm tone like fool you. Like I'm actually like really like nerding out on the inside right now because you actually been like once again. Sonic has been one of person here since I was like a wee wee little Mason AJ. But once again, this is Mason AJ with the aficionados here once again at Free Comic Book Day. Stay tuned to next time. We are here sharing that comic book love and doing awesome nerd things. Yeah.